Predator, Captain Marvel, and Henry Cavill, 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 in The Witcher. Now on Miscast Entertainment. Boat. Hey, you miscast miscreants, and welcome to another episode of Miscast Oof. Entertainment. <laughs> miscast Entertainment News with your host, the wonderful JJ. I'm here to do it again. That's right. The magnificent Greg. Let's go. Go where? Anywhere but here. Straight into William Davis Moore. And uh, if you are, no, no, not straight into William Davis Moore. <laughs> straight. <laughs> that was a good introduction, and he fucked it all up. No, it's good. I know, us. I'm kidding. <laughs> And William Davis Moore. Together we have a combined experience of 30 plus years as film critics, film writers, film app creators, film book publishers, and site cinematographers. If you're new to the channel, head on over to the channel and check out some of our old content so you can watch that and get all catched up. Caught up. Caught up. All no, it's catched. Up. You were right the first all time. All catched up. Yeah. And uh, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified of all future content. Okay, so let's get right into the news with Greg here. All right, here we go. So first story we got is, uh, you hear about this thing with the predator? The predator inside the predator? Oh, yes, there's a predator in the predator. There's a predator in the predator. So I have, I have stuff on that. Uh, you have stuff on that? Yeah, in my brain pain. Okay, okay, good. So <laughs> the story is uh, that they recently cut a scene out of the predator because uh, uh, Shane Black, the director, had cast his an old friend of his who was a friend of his since before he got convicted or went to jail for this thing. Um, he cast this guy in a small part where he hits on Olivia Munn in a scene um, and didn't tell anybody about this guy's background. Okay, so uh, Olivia Munn then found out about it later on and said, uh, uh, you know, she complained about it and said, I don't feel comfortable with this. And they ended up cutting out the uh, <laughs> have, have a drink. Um, <laughs> well, uh, what did this guy do that was so bad? Well, he uh, uh, apparently was uh, talking dirty with a relative of his, a 14-year-old girl relative of relative, his. Relative, okay. Yeah. Uh, his story is that she was uh, 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 had very low self-esteem, so he only did this to compliment her and make her feel better about herself. Um, that seems like uh, one of those catch a, Catching a Predator episodes. Exactly. I just it, came here to tell her what not to do. Exactly, with, with, beer, and, uh, rope in my, <laughs> yeah, with beer and rope in my trunk of my car. So that's, that was his story to Shane Black, to the director. And Shane Black recently came out and said, um, oh, he just found out, he said, uh, I was misled by a friend I really wanted to believe was telling me the truth when he described the circumstances of his conviction. Um, and then uh, uh, I believe strongly in giving people second chances, but sometimes you discover that chance is not as warranted as you may have hoped. Uh -oh. So he apologized for not telling anybody else about this guy's background. And uh, Olivia Munn was uh, uh, not really wanting to do promotion for this movie. She's contractually obligated. And apparently now she feels a lot more comfortable that this thing was, uh, this scene was cut out. But uh, you know, that's the scoop right there. So what are you guys, what are your thoughts yeah, on so, this thing? So she went and she just ratted him out. Yeah, pretty much. So if she hadn't have said anything, the scene would have been in there. Right. And well, if nobody had found out, maybe, yeah. What if, and imagine they would have found out after. I think that would have been a gigantic PR nightmare for them. Right. Now, this guy, uh, Black, had already ca had cast him in small roles in Iron Man 3 and The Nice Guys after his conviction. Oh, okay. So I don't know if it was same, similar circumstances where he just didn't tell anybody else on the cast and crew about this. Um, so, what I'm... I'm confused about is uh, so he only texted this girl right like no it was like online chat apparently right. and the court records came out and said like listen they were doing some dirty stuff the court records well, that's what I'm asking uh, like because you said he got convicted and and I'm like look I'm not saying I'm okay with what he did it's disgusting I'm just thinking like he got convicted for speech well it says uh he pleaded he pleaded guilty to attempting to lure a 14 year old girl into a sexual relationship via the internet mm -hmm. oh attempting to lure her. yeah ah. so the court records came out and said that um there was a lot a lot of 
explicit sexual language used and all those kinds of other stuff. Now, I don't know exactly what was said, but apparently it's it was. gross, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's not good all the way, all around. So it, it would be nice to have you read the transcript, I think. Maybe if we can get it for the no, next episode. Yeah, because you're going to take that out of context. Yes. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> editing the visuals in there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no inserts. Yeah, all right. That'd be fun. <laughs> all right, so that's that. So that's that scoop there. It's kind of yeah. gross. Or does it? Apparently, there there's some crimes that you can do that you can be forgiven for. You know, like there are people like slap their wives and girlfriends around, and then they can keep on making records. Hey, Chris, keep, on, yep. keep, keep keep doing it. But this PM is one of those things that that no matter what, it's just in our society. You know, um, it's just not good. No, um, not good all around. Not, I feel like I need to take a shower. All right. So <laughs> so with that said, let's move on to something a little more fun. Uh, Entertainment Weekly dropped a whole bunch of Captain Marvel uh, exclusive images. All over the place. All, they everywhere. They sprayed so. the internet with it. Uh, <laughs> a, all, over the, all over the internet's face. So it's very, um, I feel like we'd be remiss if we don't talk about it. Sure. So uh, in these images, uh, I mean, we previously saw a leaked set photo of her in her, that green Star Force outfit. And everybody was yes. going crazy because it wasn't the red and blue one that uh, you know was in the comics. So people were like, oh, are we actually going to see that? And we got to see it in all its glory in, this, in this, these images. Um, so we got to see that. We got to see the, her with the Star Force, uh, her little team there. Um, we got to see Jude Law. Or I'm sorry, was it Jude Law? Yeah, Jude Law. Jude Law as the... Uh, uh, Commander of Star Force to not revealing whether he is actually Captain Marvel. He's, he's Marvel. Yeah. I mean, I, come on. There's a guy named Marvel in the Marvel universe. Yeah, and to me that's a little ridiculous too. <laughs> so is maybe that where the name Marvel comes from? From no, oh, okay, no, no. it's I mean, a coincidence. We had this conversation in the first episode. I was drinking. Did we? I don't who's. remember. We that had, was a while ago. Remember, I went, "Hey JJ, did you know that there's a Captain Marvel and a Captain Marvel?" And you were like, "No way." <laughs> well, sometimes look on this show, I like to drink beer. Today, actually, we're drinking Mega Mix. Ooh, <laughs> Mega. From uh, MIA Brewery over go. in Miami. There you go. Welcome to Miami, the 305. Wah, wah, wah. It's very fruity. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing uh, IPA called Mega Mix. It used to be really popular on draft, and uh, thank God they decided to can it so I can share it with uh, my friends. There you go. If well, you can cheers. get it out of that six pack holder, that is. That's a very tight <laughs> six pack <laughs> thing. You know. It's very good. Very, very citrusy. Very fruity. Very citrusy. But yes. Uh, yeah, so there's many Captain Marvels. I there's stuff. Shazam's Captain Marvel. There's Captain Is he? Marvel. Yeah, and, you, you know, know more about this sh- uh, stuff. Danvers. There's, uh, <laughs> there's Marvel, who's her mentor, basically. That's yeah. where she got her powers. So. Well, the name is kind of ridiculous, so I'm, I'm wondering if they switched it up for this movie somehow. And that's why they're not revealing it yet. Who knows? But um, So we also saw that. We also saw a couple of returning people, uh, returning characters from Guardians of the Galaxy in these images. So you saw Ronan the Accuser is back. Ronin. Um, and then you also saw uh, Jaiman Hunsu's character, Korath. But to me, and I don't know the history as well as you do, um, he's on the Star Force. He's with the good guys. And in Guardians of the Galaxy, he was a bad guy. So maybe we see him kind of, maybe we see that switch here. Yeah, so what we're seeing is, uh, you, you guys know that uh, this movie takes place in the 90s. I mean, she's got yep. a nine-inch nail shirt on. She's very like 90s-esque. So um, before Guardians of the Galaxy, way just before, to make that clear, right? um, this is yeah. when Quill is like probably still with his dad, running, running cheap, cheap shit for his. Well, he was kidnapped when know. he was ten years old at nineteen ninety. Not, not his dad. Yeah, I, that mean, was the I, 80s. I meant uh, it was it was nineteen ninety when he was taken. No, it was eighty two or eighty three, something no, like that. No, because he's only thirty something. Anyway. No, I, no, it was the, it was the eighties. He, he had a and, Walkman, man. Yeah, but yeah. go back and check. But he was kid. He was a child of the eighties, but he was kidnapped in nineteen ninety by. Um, oh, oh, when he was ten, oh, 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 right. Oh, oh, so I he was born you. in nineteen eighty. Gotcha. gotcha. Got right. Yeah. All right. He did I'm, the math. I'm not editing that out. I just remember that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, anyways, this is like. This is like their A team, their Avengers of the Kree mm-hmm. force, you know, of um, of that planet. And uh, Ronan was like, like I guess he's like a general in that. He's a good guy. He's part of the people. They're fighting the the, the scrolls. So yeah, we did. A, we got the first look at them too. Yeah, we'll there's talk a about common that, enemy, know. which is going to open up for Secret Wars. So yeah. you know, the next Avengers stuff after the after the Infinity stuff is definitely Secret Wars. We know that now. Uh, yeah, definitely. So that's gonna be awesome. Okay. So we saw the scrolls and Ben Mendelsohn from Rogue One. And a, a lot of other good stuff. He's a really good actor. Um, is playing their leader Talos, and you also see him in human form 
in these images. So they are they are shape shifters in the movie. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm interested. And hey, now you got like, uh, are we gonna have Sherlock Holmes in space? Because now Jude Law and uh, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, yeah, there you in go. the Marvel Universe. Well, you had uh, <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch and uh, oh yeah, yeah, they were yeah. they were and they were face to face. Yeah, so. the two the two homes, the two like, homie, homies, like Battle Royale, both wearing the goatee too. So the homies they're forever. Wow. Each other. <laughs> I'm going to allow that. Oh, and it is uh, now John C. Riley yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and Will Ferrell. And Will Ferrell <laughs> to be in the there you <laughs> go. homies for Avengers life. Movie. There you go. One hundred percent a dick. Do you believe him? Well, I don't know that I believe anyone's one hundred percent a dick, man. Um, and then the last image is uh, uh, that we saw with this was uh, a de-aged Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury. There's a two-eyed Nick Fury. Two-eyed Nick Fury. Yeah, function. I know uh, JJ's excited about that. I am excited to see. <laughs> 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 you couldn't keep a straight face. Freaking out here. You couldn't keep a straight face. Jesus Christ. Two eyes. <laughs> Amazing. Can you believe it? All the things he's going to see. Uh, can you imagine the peripheral vision on this guy? 50% more. <laughs> I don't know how they're going to do it. I mean, uh, the cinematography in this movie has to be like amazing. Though. I know. Stereo. Yeah, I think that the lenses on all his shots should be like the lens should be like a little wider. Make it IMAX for every <laughs> yeah. point of his shot. For him. Everything should be an IMAX shot when you're watching it from from this point of view. Well, uh, in the picture itself, the de-aging on it looked really good. It looked even better than uh, 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 Michael Douglas and Kurt uh, Russell. Yeah, Kurt the, Russell was phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, but this this image, at least a single image, looked even better than those two. Uh, so Di they're Disney's continually advancing this this technology. Disney, Disney's got this down. I mean, they started with Tron, and they sl you could see the progression that you know, was from Tron. Kind of bad in Tron. Tron was terrible because it didn't it didn't cross Very the uh, the the uncanny valley yet. Mm -hmm. okay. So it was real creepy to look at. But every now and then you'd see the reality of it, and you could see where it was. You know that it had potential. Right. Then they did it in uh, Rogue One little bit better yeah but still had some some hiccups and then they did it in guardians 2 and it was spot on like you could not tell and now uh sam jackson even in the still image where you can analyze it and zoom in that's that's sam jackson from the from yeah. the 90s man yeah. yeah that's awesome all right so uh you guys excited about captain marvel at all uh i'm gonna watch it Am I excited about it? Not yet. It yeah. just seems like another Marvel movie I have to watch. It right. seems like homework at this point as opposed to something <laughs> exciting. It's just like you got to keep up with them. I got to keep up. Gotta and keep now current. you're telling me there's going to be like Secret Wars, which means it's going to be like more movies and more in between. Another 30 so. years of them. Well, Secret, don't, don't think of it like that. We're ending the 10-year phase. that they. This is all one giant story they've been working on with you know Thor and Captain America and all, and all that stuff and Iron Man. That's closing out with Infinity War, and they're starting a whole new... Like you might as well just sh sh you don't have to do homework on that anymore. It's done. So the, I think probably Captain America and Iron Man, all those guys won't even be in these next movies. And if they are, they're only gonna be cameos. Yeah. They're gonna be a new team, new Avengers. You know, gotcha. Spider Man's one of those new Avengers, and then obviously Captain Marvel. They're gonna phase out the. I think Thor yeah, will probably we, slide in the Guardians. He probably won't even get his own movies in, anymore, in my opinion. Well, they can't keep paying all these big name actors no. the salaries no, no. now. So, so they're, well, they're, yeah, they can when they're raking in two point five well, billion dollars. Okay, so dollars they can afford worldwide. it, right? <laughs> I, I I think you're gonna have a harder time <laughs> getting the really character, getting in. the actors <laughs> back. I think yeah. is the problem then. Yeah. Okay, all right. So moving on. Uh, other big news: Henry Cavill. Well, we mentioned the, in the top of the show, Henry Cavill, Cavill, Henry Cavill, Cavill. Cavill. Uh, Cavill. Cavill. <laughs> so I think it's Cavill, to okay. be honest. No, it's Cavill. Henry, why don't you tell us? I'm Henry Cavill. I'm Henry Cavill. I'm Henry Cavill. I'm Henry Cavill. <laughs> okay. Told you. Uh, Every damn see, time. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> so he got his wish uh, to play Geralt of Rivia in this Witcher series that uh, Netflix is adapting. Ge Gerald. Geralt. Geralt or Gerald? Don't you play the game. It's Geralt. You tell us, Witcher. Just make it quick, Geralt. Comment below. <laughs> recently, it only came out recently in an interview that he was interested in playing the role, that he was a fan of the books and the games and all that stuff. That was only just a few weeks ago, it seems. But apparently, he had met yeah, with right. the uh, showrunner. Um, her show, the name is, her name is uh, Lauren Hisrick. So he met with her months ago, and that's when she made up her mind that Henry Cavill was going to be Geralt of Rivia. Okay. So... Well, how do you feel, how do you guys feel do about you the guys? Did you ever play the games, Will? I, I've never played the games, but I do know one thing. I know that Henry uh, 
was on a march toward uh, a list celebrity. You know, he was he was Superman. He was he's in the new Mission Impossible. He's you know opposed to Affleck and Cruz. You know, he's he's marching up. I feel like going to a television series, no matter what it is. It, I don't care how you play it; it's going down, and it's obviously not for awards because you know he's not doing like an Amy Adams transition or like a Matthew McConaughey transition for some kind of awesome award or recognition to give him another boost in his film career. This is never going to get an award. It's a it's a video game movie, and we all know how those do. Um, Whoa! Well, I'll they're actually saying, basing like, it more on the books. There's a series of books. I'll be interested in it. It's right up in my alley as like yeah. a nerd and, and loving shit like that. I'm going to be totally foaming at the mouth for shit like this. But as far as for him, I don't see how this helps him in his future endeavors. And it to me, it makes me think that the deal with Warner Brothers went to shit, and he's not Superman anymore. Well, he can do both. I don't think he's Superman. Anymore. I I, <laughs> I think he, they're gonna do. I think they're still gonna do a Man of Steel too. But I don't know. That's a whole other debate whether taking a, a going from movies to television these days is a step down. Where um, a lot of long form TV is actually much better than uh, yeah. the movies that are being put you out. You can these say days. that, but mm. look at the transition. Yeah. A lot of actors trying to get out of those. I mean, never make it out. Even from Game of Thrones, can't make it to the big screen. They well, just can't transition. I think what he's got going for him is that he's already a movie star. And I think that you know this uh, last Mission Impossible movie also kind of, Boom. Sure. yeah. So yeah. I don't. So I think it's just another project for him. And he's a nerd. He he's a big World of Warcraft player. It could he's just read be all a personal books. project for him. Maybe yeah. he's just doing it because he loves it. He and loves that's fantasy choice. stuff. And he's he, he maybe he's the type of actor he's just not worried about that stuff. Right. I don't think he's, he's, he's definitely not that type of actor. He's made it clear in his interviews that he wants the money, he wants the fame. He doesn't have any problem telling people that. He 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 has a clear vision of I want to go up, not down. So it doesn't make sense to me that unless something happened with his Warner Brothers deal, that he would take this deal. Even if he is a big fan, it just doesn't work into. That's just well. I mean, it's the it. kind of thing where you know you always see it with the people on TV that do do movies. Is in between seasons, they go into a movie and then come back and do the show. So I don't think it's going to be any right. up or down, really, to me. But Cumberbatch does show like Holmes, which is ca- you know, it's acclaimed. You know, this is never going to get acclaimed. Yeah, you know, but I've never seen. Better to come back to the Sherlock. So. What? Yeah. Holy <laughs> bananas. Re- have you? <laughs> yes. Really? All of them. Oh, no, I was okay. introduced to the guy. Wow. He's amazing. Yeah, All dude. right. And, and then Martin Freeman, man. And All right. So let's, so, let's, so let's move on here. We're going to, uh, real quick, new Halloween trailer dropped. Reactions? Mm, not very exciting. There's nothing really new about it. It seems just kind of rehashed stuff. Jamie Lee Curtis is practicing to use guns now that's the only thing that i got new <laughs> right, right, right. and, and uh, okay you know yeah did you notice uh that the uh, mask michael myers mask has gray hair oh to he's, make, is to make old? it to make because he's older now so his mask has gray oh, hair it's kind of a little odd well william um, shatner is like 80 something too yeah now, so. i guess so <laughs> so i don't know i'm excited but what do you think will so here's here's my thing. Um, where where is this movie fall in the line of succession of whatever the hell we are? They are the ignoring story? everything after the first movie. This is a direct but, sequel to part one. All right. So, he, but he's in an institution in the trailer, and he breaks out of an institution again. He broke out of an institution in the first one. At the end, he just vanished. He he didn't get institution. I thought him. I thought he wasn't. I thought he wasn't an institution at the end. No, I don't know. No, maybe they'll maybe they'll talk about it in the beginning of this the movie. The psychiatrist dude capped him like six times. He fell oh, out that's the right. Window, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he went to check on his body. And yeah, he was, he was gone. gone. Yeah, and that was yeah. it. So, uh, I guess maybe they'll cover that in this movie. Maybe we'll see. Uh, well, they caught him. I mean, this the, he okay. falls out of a window. They send dogs. I mean, well, he's obviously not decapitated. So, no. we're ignoring H two O. Could be. Yep, <laughs> yep, 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 yep. So, uh, so I'm kind of thrilled about this one. I, I'm I'm excited to see where they go with it. One filled in the Charleston. I'm It'll happy be about fun that. to watch. I mean, it, either way, it's a childhood movie. Okay, I want to. I'm not going to the movies to see that. No, me oh, I, I think I will. I'll go check that one really? out. We might we might have to do a review on it here. No, no, no. it's the only way I'm getting we'll, there. We'll see. We'll see what else is playing that. Oh week, man, I guess. please something good. Yeah. All right. Oh so real quick, okay. Uh, next one is uh, there was a rumor earlier this week that. Um, the $150 million movie, the most expensive movie that Netflix has paid for to make, uh, that is being made by Michael. Somebody's at the door. Who could it be? It's Mr. McFeely. Oh, maybe it's the king of cartoons with the latest cartoon reel. Yeah. Mr. McFeely, come in. Speedy delivery. All right, so this next story, real quick. Um, 
is about this uh, 100, it was a rumor earlier this week that this $150 million, million dollar movie that Netflix is making with- $150 million? $150 million dollar budget. It's the most expensive uh, movie Netflix is uh, uh, making, or has made yet, with uh, Michael Bay. Oh, there you go, that's the answer. That's, where the, that's why it's costing so much. And uh, Ryan Reynolds <laughs> starring in this one. Uh, the rumor was that it was secretly a live action Thundercats movie. Okay. Um, Wait, it came out of nowhere, this rumor, and uh, uh, it may have come from the fact that uh, Platinum Dunes, which is Bay's little production company, had signed a deal with uh, Warner Brothers to develop a Thundercats movie back in 2012. Uh, so this is kind of a ridiculous rumor. Kind of fun. And thank God it's a rumor because he fucked up the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. And now... And, fucked, and Transformers. <laughs> and Transformers. Yeah, he, our childhood is done. So yeah, your whole childhood yeah. is just, uh, what else can I ruin? Well, what happened was, so it was just a, uh, just a silly rumor. Uh, co the co-writer, Rhett Reese, came out, just tweeted out one word about it, and just said no. Okay. So, yeah. Look, if Brad Pitt is not Lionel, I'm not watching it. So fuck him. That's Ryan it. Reynolds or Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt. You okay, Brad he's Pitt not in this me? movie. No, I said if he's not. If okay. he's not... Listen to my words coming out of my mouth. <laughs> if Brad Pitt well, is not lying, no. <laughs> because you haven't seen the the trailer for Why you about Black with Brad Pitt, no. Oh, no, from Troy, it's freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'll play it right now. I'm not a kid anymore. I knew I was going to like this year. We stand together. Are you with me? And no man forget how menacing we are. We are lions. Thunder! 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 That was pretty cool. Yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> all right. <laughs> awesome. You convinced me. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch it without no Brad Pitt. I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and and now just to close things up, uh, we recently lost a legend, uh, Hollywood icon Burt Reynolds, passed Burt Reynolds. away on Thursday at the age of 82. Um, sucks. So yeah, so that really sucks. Uh, he was all set to appear in the new Quentin Tarantino movie that's being filmed right now, at Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, he was gonna play. George Spahn, who is the owner of the ranch where Charles Manson and the Manson family lived when they mm -hmm. committed their murders. Uh, and there's no word on any recasting uh, of this role yet, but um, you know that's kind of uh, uh, small potatoes. You know he was just an icon. You know Smokey and the Bandit, uh, all these. Uh, he all made these the, him deliverance. The, dude, deliverance. Can, Cannonball Run. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's underrated. I, I, I watched all of them in the theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, so, Deliverance, man, straight up. Yeah. yeah. That he he made that vest look good. Yeah, Sharky's machine. Right, right, right. He was a big. What guy. was he the was one where he played a stunt man? It's like Hooper or something like that. I can't I remember. Remember the was. longest he did the original the longest, longest yard. Yep, that was another Boogie class. Boogie Nights, man. Boogie, Boogie Nights. Come on. <laughs> yeah, man. But hopefully, Amazing. maybe Adam Driver could play his role in uh, the new Tarantino movie. <laughs> Aaron, Adam Driver. Just put some everything. makeup on him. <laughs> Age him up a bit. Yeah. So yeah, so we wanted to dedicate this show to Burt Reynolds and in, uh, in remembrance of uh, of an icon, and uh, yeah, rest yeah. in peace, buddy. Yeah, yeah so. man. And uh, fuck you, Topher Grace. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Completely unrelated, but okay. I'm gonna pour my beer out right here. Right. So yeah, so later. <laughs> right on the uh, golden snitch. <laughs> the snitch opens at the end, you know. There you go. Head on over to our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Wait, you're already at the YouTube channel. Yeah. So just hit the subscribe button and ring the bell if you haven't already. And hey, we got a website. Check it out. It's pretty Head sweet. Head on over to that. Yeah. And if you're listening on the podcast, it's uh, miscastentertainment.com. And uh, these two crazy cats uh, write some pretty cool articles Meow. that show up there every now and then. Yep. All right, guys. We'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>